Looking for a professional GPU that fits small workstations without breaking the bank? Meet the Intel Arc Pro B50, a low-profile 16GB VRAM powerhouse focused on efficiency and server usage. Today, we're putting it to the test to see if it is worth getting and if Intel still has what it takes in the graphic cards market. Let's dive right in. Intel's Arc Pro B50 arrives in a compact cardboard box without any designs, emphasizing its small form factor. The card itself is a dual-slot, low-profile design. No extra power connectors needed, making it perfect for those tight builds or server chassis. You can really tell this card is aiming for workstation and server builds, as they include both a full-height and a half-height bracket. Under the hood, the Arc Pro B50 packs the Battlemage XE2 GPU with 2048 shading units, running up to 2.6 GHz boost clock. It sports a generous 16 GB of GDDR6 VRAM on a 128-bit bus, delivering a solid 224 GB per sec of memory bandwidth. This card supports PCIe 5.0 by 8 lanes, consumes just 70 watts, and generates enough AI compute with its 128 XMX tensor cores to handle local AI inference workloads like a champ. For I.O., it is equipped with 4 Mini DisplayPort 2.1. Changing the PCIe bracket is quite easy. You will need a T6 screwdriver bit. Remove the two screws in the back of the card and another two on the face of the bracket. Then it should easily slide out. Slide the other bracket in and put the screws back. Pretty much the same process as any other bracket. However, the B50 brackets are pretty unique, so make sure you keep it somewhere safe. Gaming isn't the focus here, but casual titles and indie games run smoothly at 1080p. It's not a competitor for enthusiasts wanting raw FPS, but for hybrid workstation use, it gets the job done. Intel XESS does do a decent job at improving the performance of the card in titles that supports it. All tests were done using average of multiple runs and with Intel XESS on where the title supports it. Keep in mind that all runs were done on driver version 101.6979 and performance will likely changes as more optimized drivers are released. I found some artifacts in Expedition 33, and this really shows how drivers are not fully mature yet. Given time, I'm sure Intel will be able to optimize these ARC cards much better. For LLMs, the card performed decently. You won't be surprised with the speed or anything, but for only consuming 70 watt, it's is quite impressive when comparing to a 600 watt NVIDIA card. For DaVinci Resolve Studio, I was able to scrub around in the timeline with ease in both 1080p and 4K timelines. There were some delays, but nothing annoying and should allow you to do occasional edits. As for rendering time of a 4K 4-minute video in AV1 format, it took a RTX 4090 around 15 minutes with 2x upscaling enabled, and the B50 took around 18 minutes without any upscaling. If upscaling is turned on, expect a 4-minute video to take over one hour of rendering time. The Intel Arc Pro B50 comes with a large 16GB VRAM, making it ideal for memory-intensive workloads. It features low power consumption at just 70 watts and does not require any external power cables, which is a big plus for compact and energy-efficient builds. The card has a compact, low-profile form factor that fits easily into small PC cases, and its pricing is competitive at around $349. It also delivers strong AI compute capabilities for local model inference and benefits from certified drivers that are optimized for popular professional software such as Adobe, Autodesk, and Blender. On the downside, its overall performance lags behind gamers' GPUs and higher-end workstation cards. The 128-bit memory bus may create bottlenecks in certain scenarios, limiting its bandwidth. 
Additionally, the virtualization features are still maturing and not fully developed yet. Drivers and features are not fully implemented in some server OS like Unraid, which uses an earlier Linux kernel version instead of the latest. Finally, the Arc Pro B50 is not intended for high-end gaming workloads, so those seeking top gaming performance should consider other options. So, is the Intel Arc Pro B50 the perfect entry-level Pro GPU? For small workstations, AI inference, and content creators needing a lot of VRAM with low power draw, it's a fantastic, budget-friendly option that truly lets you work and game casually. In addition, his card truly shines when placed inside a server that can take full use of its efficiency and capabilities. I will most likely add this to my Unraid server and use it as a 24-7 transcode GPU for Plex, Jellyfin, and TDAR, replacing my GTX 1660 Super. If you found this review helpful, smash that like button, subscribe for more in-depth tech reviews, and comment below. Are you considering the Arc Pro B50 for your setup or waiting until driver support becomes more mature? Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.